Bishop here with Soul Heart Entertainment. My husband's making me laugh because he's uh, using the Sesame Street thing saying, today's toe readings are brought to you by the letter. <laughs> anyway, I'm laughing. He makes me laugh. It's a good thing. That's my job. Okay, so today is Tuesday, August 25th and we are talking about toes again we are talking specifically about toes relating to the prosperity and abundance so prosperity and abundance shows up on our right baby toe which is the toe that has the it has all the prosperity and abundance it, or that's where our subconscious thoughts around how we feel about prosperity and abundance show up so just a quick little review with the toe reading map we have the left foot is our internal self the right foot is our external self we have ether air fire water and earth on both sides and then ether is our big picture toe, which is next month. All of September is all about the big picture. Our air toe is about communication and creativity. Our fire toe is about action and temperament. Our water toe is about how we go with the flow. It's also our relationship toe. And then the earth toe is the only one that's different from left to right. And the right foot is about faith, I'm sorry, the right foot is about prosperity and abundance, and the left foot is about uh, faith and trust, and that's on our baby toes. So when we're talking about baby toes, we're talking about the faith and trust that goes into prosperity and abundance. So really, we're looking at both sides when we're looking at prosperity and abundance. But for the purposes of today, we're going to try to focus a little bit on that prosperity and abundance for the very last time in the month of August. Then next month, we'll move on to the big picture. So if you have any questions, definitely type them below and I'll, I'll try to get to them during this live toe reading video. And in the meantime, I'll reference some images that I have handy. So on this person's foot, Again, the prosperity and abundance toe is the right foot, which I know uh, sometimes, yeah, it's going to look interesting to you, We, you know, <laughs> because this video comes out backwards, so, so it's kind of, kind of awkward, but I wanted to show you how the toe shows up. So on this person, we have somebody who is a super big picture thinker. She has nice big toes, big, big toes. Um, and she has this prosperity and abundance toe that actually comes pretty straightforward off her foot. So that's a great thing. So not only does she have great ideas and a whole heck of a lot of great ideas, but she also has a pretty upstanding uh, prosperity and abundance toe, baby toe, which means that she shows up in the world exactly how she wants to show up in the world not how she imagines she should show up in the world does that make sense so what that means for her baby toe is that she it's going to come straight forward straight off of the toe it's not going to have a whole lot of bending or curving to it it's not going to bend over to one side or the other the one thing that i do notice about it is that she has a really super rounded um, pad at the very top and one of the things that i've talked about before is the timeline of each of the toes so where the toe meets our foot is when we were born timeline wise and where the tip of the toe is is where our thoughts and feelings are right this moment so in today's ideas so when we're looking at toes that are rounded tips we're looking at people that are rounded that have kind of a softer quality to the way that they show up in the world they also have a good uh, broad scope around what the world looks like and what that means to society in general it also means that they have a tendency to maybe beat around the bush a little bit. So that would kind of be one of the maybe challenges that comes up for this person is that she 
she has she has prosperity and abundance she recognizes that she has prosperity and abundance but when it comes to communicating what that looks like for her she's not always completely um, it's not at the forefront of her mind what that looks like for her so she's so her the edge of her toe is a little bit rounded um, it's very close to her communication toe if you take a look at how close those two toes are really all of these these four toes are fairly close there's a little bit of a space though you can see that there's more space between the action toe and the relationship toe than there is between the relationship toe and the prosperity and abundance toe so what that means is that when it comes to the relationships in her life she kind of has a little bit of a dependency when it comes to that prosperity and abundance and what i mean by that is not that she actually has that it means that that's where her subconscious thoughts go when she's imagining what prosperity and abundance looks like for her so if you wanted to you know if you let's say you had the same challenges come up in your life that you you have a relationship that you're financially or reliant on in some way when it comes to how that looks like for your prosperity and abundance the way that you shift that is to kind of get a little bit of a um you know the toe separators that you can get sometimes in the in the um nail salons i i know no, none of them are open here in southern california it's making me crazy and not to have a regular um nail <laughs> nail care it's making me totally crazy but um but one of the things that you can do is when you put on those toe separators you can bring them home with you ask ask to keep them or get some for yourself and put them on and and anoint your toes with some sort of oil essential oil and uh, maybe a little bit of the the best thing that i like to do is to get a little tiny dollop of um of moisturizer whatever moisturizer i use on my feet and then i add a little bit of scent to it whatever scent i usually get unscented um <laughs> And then I add my own scent. I know that seems silly, but I like the I like essential oil scents better than perfume scents, just because they react with my skin a little bit better. So, it it serves my skin better, and I think it it gets uh, essential oils get into the cells of the skin or through the cells of the skin a little bit better so they last a little bit longer so it serves your your skin a little bit better those essential oils but anyway <laughs> um so one of the things that i notice about this particular person that we've been talking about is that while her prosperity and abundance toe comes straight forward and she has a nice rounded toe and her toenail is standing up and she's not really it's not really chunky so she's not really holding on to anything or holding back anything there's not a whole lot of fear around this toe however when i look over here at the faith and trust toe i'm looking at a toe that's kind of curved so like if the toe came this way it it's kind of curved out like that so that tells me that there's a little that her faith and trust have been shaken a little and when that happens it can very severely affect how we see our prosperity and abundance so in her case she is she's looking at maybe some challenges when it comes to that she you know let's say she imagines something is going to come her way and it's this wonderful great fabulous thing and then somebody says something it can really really rock her boat right it can really throw her off of the imagination of bringing that energy to her so it the the best honestly i mean i i know i say this every time and i feel awkward for you know saying the same thing over and over and over but the best thing that you can possibly do to get yourself in that state of mind where you're uh, having the energy to receive whatever it is that you're desiring is to truly get into that state of meditation and meditation does not have to look like sitting still for however long it does not have to look like that i always kind of giggle when somebody says i just don't i am not still enough to to do meditation 
meditation is about keeping your mind still. It's not about keeping your physical body still. So for example, what I mean by that is any time that I'm painting or uh, putting together a puzzle or even writing in my journal, my mind has a tendency to go blank and not blank from any thoughts, but blank from the thoughts that concern me. Does that make sense? So I'm, so I'm elevating my frequency, my vibration, my energy levels at a higher elevation because I'm not in that state of worry or I'm not in that state of fear. And one of the things that I don't think that I've showed you guys that I reference really quite often is this pyramid, and I'm sorry, it's not printed, it's not printed backwards for you to be able to see, but I just wanna show you where it's red, it, it lines up with the colors of our chakras that show up on our body. I'm looking for that image that has the chakras um, and where they show up on our body. But so what happens is we see these, shoot, I'm not finding that image. Um, nope, 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 nope. Okay, sorry about that. The, the way, okay, well, here you go. Only it's upside down. <laughs> so, so like this is our root chakra. The red is our root chakra. The, uh, it's not, it's not on the body that I have. Uh, I have that somewhere. I'll look for it. We'll do that next time. But so it shows up as our root chakra is our red chakra. Our uh, second chakra is our sa sacral chakra, kind of right around our belly, but or really right around our, um, yeah. I don't know why this is, it's, it's like my mind is going blank with this. Anyway, I'm gonna not worry about where the chakras are. Just know that these kind of match up with our chakras. And when we're sitting in a state of meditation, we have a tendency to be in the higher frequencies, which means that we're able to achieve more, we're able to receive more, we're able to open ourselves up more. And what this shows is in these, in these lower centers, I'm gonna read to you what these say. The, the shame, guilt, apathy, grief, and fear are all at that frequency of 100 or lower. And um, shame, guilt, apathy, grief, and fear are all in that state of suffering, if you, if you can see that. Once we get into the green area, we're getting into that, we're getting into that area of courage and neutra neutrality. And then we're getting, then we, once we get up into those uh, blue, uh, the light blue and then the dark blue and then the indigo and then the, um, the purples, we're getting into that, those states of um, like love and acceptance and joy and, and then it goes into that enlightenment. So I show you that kind of energy energy thing because it's because when we're talking about <laughs> oh my gosh I, I don't know why my uh, my brain is completely going blank so I when we're in that state of meditation we're really in we're really looking to elevate those those frequency levels to those higher elevations to the um, and and you can see that when when we open ourselves up and we're in that kind of higher vibrations, we're in that state that allows us to accept more, where we allow us to receive more information from our guides, from our angels, from God, uh, from source energy. It's, it's all about kind of connecting with that higher version of who we are in order to attract that to us. So if we're looking to attract bigger and better and more wonderful things into our lives. We're looking to vibrate at those higher levels of uh, frequency. Does that make sense? So there's lots and lots and lots of stuff on YouTube around um, elevating your frequency. There's sound baths, there's you know Reiki treatments, there's emotional freedom technique, the tapping technique. There's so, so, so many techniques 
The reason why I've always come back to toe reading is because the toe reading, to me, it's, it's a physical manifestation of where our thoughts, feelings, and emotions are. So when we're in a state of concern on any level in any way, we're, it shows up in our toes. So if, we're, if we ever get stuck in our lives, and you know, we're, not, we're here to strive to that point of reaching outside of our comfort zones. We're, we're here to strive to achieve more every single day. So when we reach a goal, what happens? Do we stop and just say, okay, great, I reached that goal, I'm done. No, we have a tendency to set new goals for ourselves and we set bigger, better goals, right? So it's kind of this never ending um, experience of looking for the next goal, the next be best thing. So if you think about it that way, we're all on this fantastic journey of experiences, right? So we're experiencing things from one point to the next to the next. So when it comes to prosperity and abundance, one of the things that I like to talk about with prosperity and abundance is where, where does it, you know, when, when we look at our toes, our toes are that scientific version uh, of where our thoughts are, so or that physical version. We can actually physically see it in the toes, which is why I find this so unbelievably fascinating. So for example, we're looking at the right foot, baby toe, when we're talking about prosperity and abundance. And you can see that this person's toes, I mean, their relationship is hiding way underneath that action toe, right? You can, you can very much see that, that that relationship is completely dependent on, on the actions that are taken. Um, and the baby toe, so the prosperity and abundance toe, is really almost hiding underneath that relationship toe. So this person has a tendency to look to the relationship in order to feel validated, in order to see, um, in order to see anything having to do with prosperity. She would have a tendency to look to her significant other rather than to her higher self, and so. The, the question that comes up when we're talking about a toe reading specifically for this person, we're talking about where are you hiding in your relationship and then therefore in your abundance and your prosperity and abundance. What does that look like when you think of the greatest achievement that you could possibly make and and how does that look in your life when you go to take action steps toward that? What does it look like? Are you completely depending on the opinion of this person that's in your life? And if so, that's fantastic. So long as there's somebody that's going to support you in things that are outside your comfort zone. When we're stuck in our comfort zone, we're not ever gonna grow. We're not ever gonna become that better person or that better version, that godlike self that we need to achieve to be. And we're never going to achieve it either. But if we're not striving for it, if we're not striving at every second of our lives to be better and to act better and to um, show ourselves, show up better, then what, I mean, what's the point? <laughs> it seems like then our lives are kind of full of the stress and the energy draining situations that have a tendency to create challenges and create drama and create fear and, and anxiety in our lives. So in order to release those things, we have to be looking to that, to that next step and enjoy the journey on the way. Right. Um, so let me let me show you a prosperity and abundance toe that is a little bit what I call fluffy. Okay. <laughs> so we're looking at a little bit fluffy toe right here. Okay. See how it has just a little bit of extra padding on it. And 
Um, it too is pretty close to the relationship toe, which is pretty close to the action toe, which is pretty close to the communication toe, which is pretty close to the uh, big picture toe. So kind of everything in this person's life has a tendency to show up as a um, as a reaction to the next to the next thing. So so one thing happens and then it affects kind of every other area of this person's life when the toes are that close to each other. The the puffiness or the um, you know fluffiness of of the toe is holding back. There's there's something going on where there's a little bit of holding back happening. And so when we hold back, we, you know, I kind of, I picture us, the, the shoulders raise, the, the energy gets a little bit more frantic, it gets a little bit more tense. Um, there's, there's a little bit more anxiety around achieving whatever goal is at hand. And, and we have a tendency when we're holding on to stuff like that, we have a tendency to hold, uh, to physically hold on to things. So we have a tendency to physically hoard or, um, you know, buy too much or bring things home because they're, because it feels safer to have the thing than it does to have the idea. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, so that kind of shows up as that fluffy toe. <laughs> that, there's a little bit extra padding on the toes. And I think that there's a lot of people out there. Now I hear a lot of people are you know purging and getting rid of things and gifting things that aren't being used back out into the world if it you know the the kind of the Marie Kondo effect the if it does not bring you joy it is time to let it go because it is not meant for you then right if you look around your house and you don't see joy everywhere you look it's time to let it go people seriously um, and truly when you do it's it's kind of bizarre how it affects your toes. Your toes literally will get skinnier. <laughs> your toes will let go of some of that fluffiness if you have fluffy toes. Um, I'm looking for another picture here that I think is kind of cool. Okay, this picture is super, super neat. So um, it, it's, on the, it's on the left foot more than it, or at least it shows up in this picture on the left foot more than it shows up on the right foot. But what I was gonna talk about next was this kind of, it's almost like a little bit of extra padding on the foot itself, okay? On that outside flank of the foot, just past the baby toe. So it, if that, I, I have a feeling it shows up on this person's feet. It's just kind of the, the way that the photo was taken. You can see it a little bit more on the left foot than you can see it on the right foot. But what that is is, or what I've learned that that is, um, and it's not necessarily for everybody. Some people have some challenges with uh, their lymphatic system because that's kind of where their lymphatic system shows up on their foot. But if the if it's not inflamed, if it doesn't feel uncomfortable, if it fits into shoes well, it doesn't, it, it's not about the lymphatic system. It's more about trusting your innate intuition. So I think that's so super cool. So if you've ever known anybody with six toes, that's what that's all about. It actually is literally, they have that sixth sense. So it's that sixth sense coming through. It just totally blows me away. I love that kind of stuff. Um, but so, so for example, on, on this foot, let's just assume that the picture is accurate. Okay. And that this, this extra padding showing up here on the left foot is more impressive, if you will, if it's more, it shows up more on the left foot than it shows up on the right foot. What that looks like in her life is that in side herself because remember the left foot is all about our internal self right that internal self all of these things on her internal self will be amplified she'll have a, an innate intuition about the big picture and what that looks like she'll have an innate intuition about communication and creativity and what that looks like and she'll have like it will be you know tuned in tapped and turned on she will be able to figure out what the heck that means to her and her higher self and what that looks like in elevating her soul. Now, 
when it comes to showing up in the world and dealing with people outside of herself, it might be a little bit more challenging for her. And it might even frustrate her because she has that sixth sense inside herself and because it it's come so easily to her on the inside. And then, you know, the second that she starts dealing with people in live and in person, it's not coming to her as easily that she is, um, <laughs> that her intuition isn't helping her deal with relationships. It's not helping her deal with the big picture when it comes to that external source or communication or creativity or action. So it, it, can get super, super frustrating, especially when it comes to prosperity and abundance, because inside she knows, she knows so well what that looks like to her. Um, and for some reason, it's it doesn't translate quite as easily to that external self. So with somebody like that, what I would suggest doing is that they go inside when they're trying to achieve a big goal uh, uh, something that's huge or totally outside of the scope of what they can envision for themselves do the daydreaming about it sit with sit quietly go within get really 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 excited about visualizing what it is that you want to achieve and how that looks and um, as if you were there as it, you know, so one of the things that I just absolutely love doing that's so exciting to me is uh, yachts. I love yachts. My my family on one side of my family uh, always had yachts and I grew up on yachts and I grew up fishing and deep sea fishing. And we, we did all kinds of really cool, fun things on these gorgeous, gorgeous boats, for lack of a better way of saying it. Um, and so when I think of prosperity and abundance, I go back to that place of just being on that incredible vessel and being out in the water and feeling the ocean breeze and feeling even the splash of the, the waves as we, as we draw. I mean, it's just like, it's so exciting to even envision anything having to do with yachts for me. So, so for me, a huge, huge, huge goal is yacht. I, I'm gonna own one. At some point, somewhere down the line, I am going to be a yacht owner, period, end of sentence, it's, it's happening. So if my foot was showing up where I had a really clear intuition of what that looks like for me inside, but I'm not seeing how it will show up on the outside, I'm not seeing how it will show up in my life, the best way for me to get that to come to fruition is to have those daydreams, is to just allow myself to go there with my mind and get really super excited about it and really live in that moment and, and be there. Feel like I am there living that experience right here, right now. And so it just, it, you know, raises that energy frequency so amazingly well. It just brings it from anything in the middle all the way up to that top. So I think the, the most challenging thing for me when I'm in that state is like, I don't want to come back. I, I love living in that fantasy world around just being present in that moment of what that goal looks like. Um, so coming kind of back to reality is the biggest challenge for me. So I'm working on getting over that. I'm working on coming back to the here and now and being really, really grateful for everything that I have right now because that's what's gonna, gratitude is the ultimate end all be all of, of gaining whatever it is that you want in life is just being grateful for what you have now, everything even the things that feel uncomfortable and feel unsatisfying and feel challenging. It's, it's important to go to the place where you can feel gratitude for that because if nothing else, it's showing you what you don't want. That's huge, that's huge. I mean, that's, I think, half the battle. One of the things that you can do is journal about it and and or create vision boards go go into a magazine and one of the things about vision boards that i think is important now not everybody feels this way so it's it is what it is 
but vision boards for me work better when they're just images no text no uh letters no it's it goes back to the carl jung uh way of being and that is to see in the image what it's supposed to mean to you in that moment because one image from one point in time all the way through you know five ten years later it may not mean the same thing that it meant to you back then so but but words kind of have a tendency to mean the same thing to you uh, you know you can grow a little bit with the definitions of words hopefully <laughs> but um, the way to bring those big prosperity and abundance dreams to you right here right now is to really really get them visualized so when I'm in that state of imagining what that what it is like to be on that yacht when I come back to quote unquote reality and I'm really really excited still because now I have my amazing vision board to look at and I have these fantastic images to just get excited about. And you know, really, is there, is there much, is there anything better in life than being excited? I don't know, I don't think so. I love being excited. It makes me super, super happy to be excited. So anyway, that's a little bit about the prosperity and abundance toe and a little bit about our frequencies and where that shows up in our lives. When we're on our low frequencies, we're in states of fear and anxiety and uh, yeah, apathy, guilt, shame, any of those kind of emotions that drag us down. And when we're starting to get to the point of neutrality, we're in those blue and green zones, when we're starting to help, uh, acceptance, love, reasoning, we're getting into those higher uh, elevated frequencies of existing. And when we're in those higher frequencies, boy, does life feel pretty darn fantastic, right? So if you're trying to elevate your frequencies, you know, one of the ways that you can do that is to look at your toes and see where you're at. If you see bumps on your toes, if you see ridges on your toes, if you see calluses on your toes, you're going to want to try to work with your toes and uh, thank them for bringing those uh, thoughts, feelings, and emotions to the surface so that you can accept that that is maybe how you're feeling in this moment and, you know, kind of bless and release them. Allow them to go. Allow them to be released from your body and your experience. And, uh, you know, gosh, there's so many different tools that we can use to do that. But in toe reading, it's pretty literal. As you look at your toe and you describe your toe to yourself, that's the question that you want to ask is, um, you know, so if I have a bump in on my toe or, you know, a, 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 a line, a line, if you will, let me find a toe that has a line really quick. Um, like this toe has a really, really clear line, this big toe. See that line right there? That was, so if this is birth where her toe meets her foot and this is her thoughts right here, right now, it was about, it was a little more than half of her lifetime ago, like about two thirds of her lifetime ago, that there was a really big bump in the road to her being who she is today. But if it's still showing up as a bump, that means she still has forgiveness work to do on the subject. So there's, there's something, you know, Sometimes when you're in a session, when you're in meditative mode, you can put your finger on that, on that crevice and you can, uh, you know, just basically ask your angels, God, whoever your source energy is and ask them to tell you what is it that you need to forgive still. What, and you know, sometimes we'll have flashes of memory, flashes of imagination, like, I don't even know, a bike accident. Uh, you know, you fell on your bike and skinned your knee and nobody was there to comfort you. I, I mean, it really honestly could be as simple as that. It could be so little. Um, and yet we still need to do some forgiveness work on it, right? Um, probably the crevices that show up on our toes are gonna be things that are a little bit deeper and a little bit more um, intense if you will because we've really really held on to those for dear life but sometimes not sometimes it truly is just that little itty bitty thing that we need to 
allow ourselves to forgive ourselves really for holding on to it. It's real it's it's real easy for me to forgive somebody else. It's a little bit harder for me to forgive myself for holding on to it. For for you know, cuz I it's that control thing, right? <laughs> uh, the control thing. <laughs> anyway, um, next month on the Toes Days, so for all of September, we're gonna be talking about the big picture. So definitely come with your big picture questions or your destiny questions. I would love, love, love to answer what those look like and how those show up in the toes and where we can find them in our toes. All those kind of things we'll be talking about next month on Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Los Angeles time on the Soul Heart Entertainment page. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday for Tuesday. Bye for now.